I knew the wreckage of that plane brings some closure to grieving families, but it wasn't an easy mission. Tonight, Byron Morton shows us how Kerlin Air Force Base played a role in the search and recovery. Students and staff at Via Vista Elementary remember teacher Melissa Watson and her boyfriend Howard Guthrie. She would always like give me a smile or say hello or say like how's your day going? A snowstorm forcing them to turn back and that was the last that was known. A missing plane and a feverish search for its whereabouts began. From the top of a mountain down to the bottom we just keep searching. Navigator Sean Bell took off from Kirtland Air Force Base in the HC-130. 13 people on board who were all looking outside just uh, extra eyes out hoping we could see a, a flash of something. While his counterpart Jason Cole took off in what they call a pave hawk, a type of Black Hawk helicopter. Search for the, the wreckage. Both quickly realizing this wasn't going to be an easy mission. Trees all around, about 100, 150 foot trees. But this is a team with lots of experience. Eight deployments in Iraq and Afghanistan. And these specially equipped aircraft providing all the technology to keep them going, like this fuel probe that allows them to refuel in flight. Basically extends our life that we can stay in the air without having to go a further distance. So it keeps us over the scene and uh, keeps the mission going on. Finally, after days of searching, they located the wreckage. I was actually hoisted down and coordinated with the, the ground crews to uh, help in any way we could. And the unknown now known, thanks to the courageous efforts of these two men and their team. It was nice to be able to bring closure to the families in the community. Reporting from Kirtland Air Force Base, Ira Morton, KOAT Action 7 News. Kirtland's 58th Special Ops Wing is credited with saving 240 lives during search and rescue missions.